Hello humans and welcome to another episode of Gen X Gamer. One of the things that I forgot to tell you guys that since I'm up here and, you know, and I, I didn't get to talk about it just because I'm tired, guys. I just, <laughs> I've been getting like five hours sleep, right? Um, we have all these people that uh, that uh, stop by sometimes trying to help us. Uh, my wife's sister-in-law lives next door, uh, you know, relatively next door, like a couple of, of units down. Um you know, her mom comes to visit, but, you know, uh, the newborn likes to be on my stomach. She wants to be on my stomach. Like that's her favorite spot, you know, and, and she'll be there for a couple of hours. So I'm just sitting there vegging and, <laughs> and I look for a video, I look for video ideas, you know, and, and I've been roasting those idiots, but, um, yeah, that's, that's mainly, uh, how I spend a lot of my time right now, just bonding with the baby, you know, and, and just uh, just being active, you know, just just being active as a father, and then just being uh, active working on myself. But one of the things I didn't talk about, guys, is is the music. You know, I think music is very important to to a lot of people. You know, I wouldn't say to everybody, but to a lot of people. And to me, um, one of the things that I like about the Philippines, right, uh, as opposed to other countries, is that. They like old school music. And when I'm telling you old school music, I'm telling you, for example, they have like uh, 70s and 80s songs on the radio on heavy rotation. What kind of songs, right? A lot of more romantic, like the Carpenters, like ABBA, like Air Supply, like, you know, you name it. If it's, you know, if it's uh, romantic and corny, it, it's on there. But also in the nighttime, right? This is when, when it gets better. And the reason I'm talking about this is just... We just went on a date with my wife, you know. And one of the things that made my wife and I compatible, even though she's only 40 years old, right? Uh, and, you know, there's a, an, obviously an age gap between us, is that those songs are standard here, right? So she grew up listening to them, and they're still on heavy rotation, like Air Supply right now, heavy rotation. The Carpenters, right? ABBA. Heavy rotation, 80 songs, heavy rotation. And I'm talking about like Chicago, you know? <laughs> like the music from the Karate Kid. Um, those type of things are, are on heavy rotation on the radio. And people grow up with them and become familiar with them. But at nighttime when you go out, a lot of the a lot of the songs that you're gonna hear are, you know, disco songs from the 70s, some, uh, you know, R&B, stuff that you can dance to, basically. And it makes the night really enjoyable. And you're going to find a lot of places here. Um, if you're married, there's also places for single people, by the way. But I'm, I'm just assuming that, you know, somebody's out there is, is married, um, where it's really geared for couples, right? It's a romantic type setting and stuff like that. And you can karaoke to these old tunes. You can you can dance to these old tunes, and, and it's all catered for the couple itself. So it's very family friendly, right? And it's not you don't have to worry about being in an, uh, you know in a situation where you're going to have a lot of people drinking or over drinking or doing anything else. Very family friendly. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. You know, it 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 is pretty cool. And I forgot, uh, you know, to talk about that when I was talking about the Philippines. You know, because a lot of a lot of things have have to do with everything, right? I wish there was more connectivity in the area that I'm at, but they're still building infrastructure here. Um, they're building the, you know, a condo that I bought, for example, they're building and it's not gonna be ready till three years. So, you know, I, I have to wait. I mean, it's great, right? It's a great condo. It's a lot better than the place that I'm staying at now, but I'll give you an example of the places that I'm staying at now. And there's a couple, but but uh, it's it's a tower attached to a mall, right? So basically, I never have to go outside if I don't want to. You know, I go down from my apartment, I go inside the mall. The mall has everything, from a theater to uh, a grocery store to a pharmacy. There's even a doctor there. I mean, everything's there. This mall has like uh, five floors, you know. And I just, I love the malls. You know, I've always talked about that. And, you know, you have internet cafes there and, and, you know, of course, everything's air conditioned and people go out there to to show up. You know, I mean, it, it really is 
like the old days for me, and it's at this age, <laughs> right? Because <laughs> at this age is is what I want with my family, with my wife, and what have you. It's it's the type of setting that I want where I could just you know go down the elevator, I'm out to a mall, and there I go with a stroller, right? In my younger years, you know, I I would have done something different if I was in the Philippines. If you're younger and single, then you know, really Makati is where you want to be if you want to party, right? That's that's the business center when you're going to find great nightlife. I mean, great nightlife. And I, and if you want debauchery, let me tell you, it, it is available, right? I've never been uh, traveling here in Southeast Asia where, uh, especially in the Philippines, guys, like after the third day, you got to take a knee. Uh, you really do because they... they they go out later because of the temperature here. People go, they start going out at 10, right? I remember the first time that I got here, <laughs> I think it was like 2016. I was arriving in a plane at 1030, right? And I was just burnt out. And my boys had traveled earlier because they had family there. And as soon as I landed, they're like, we got to go. We got to go. <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I thought I was going to die. <laughs> And you have all kinds of action. You know, if you're Makati, you're going to see a lot of people from a lot of different countries. You have Korean people. You have people from Australia. You have people, you know, from America, of course. And you're going to have a great time. You really are. And you're going to be in a safe environment. They take care of you there. And, you know, you can hear a lot of things. But I'm telling you, I've been walking around drunk in the streets of Manila at 3 a.m., in Makati with no problem because there's police officers everywhere, right? I'm, you know, running around. I even think I took a picture once. It might have, you know, I you guys have to go back and look if I made a video or not. But anyway, um, so it's a very safe environment. The Philippines really caters to uh, tourists. But if you enjoy that old school music, right, from the 70s, from the 80s, romantic you want to have dinner with your wife. You want to be in a safe environment, guys. It's a place to be. There's other places to be if you're single. But this is something important that I that I left out, that I complete, it just completely, you know, um, uh, passed over my head, right? And people really do love this this old American music, and you see the appreciation for them. And it's, it's just mind-blowing how much they love bands like, you know, Chicago, you know, or, you know, the old school uh, romantic uh, ballads, you know, from the 80s and the 70s. It's it's really, really cool. You barely hear anything from 90s uh, unless you go to Makati. But, you know, especially in, in the rural areas, you know, in the provinces, you're going to hear a lot of 70s and 80s romantic music. And if you're from the 80s, I mean, you're really going to feel at home. I just wanted to share that with you guys, man. I, I just had a great time right now. And, uh, you know, I just want to share with you guys. Okay, have a great one. Take care.